Now we shall discuss how the Himalayan mountains are formed. We all know that India has six major physical divisions: the Himalayas, the Northern Plains, the Peninsular Plateau, then the Great Indian Desert, the Coastal Plains, and finally the islands. All together are the six major Indian physical divisions. Now the first major one, the Himalayas. The Himalayan mountains are stretch over in the form of an arc from the west to the east so the arc from the indus river towards the brahmaputra river we have it at varied shapes varied lengths so let us look into detail the arc structure which you find in the indian map from the formation of the jammu and kashmir edge western side towards the eastern assam region so the entire length the distance is 2400 kilometers from the jammu and kashmir to the arunachal pradesh region and in this arc why do we call it as an arc because it makes a variation in the width the width is 400 meters when it is in the jammu and kashmir region while it's moving towards the east it is having reducing its width to 150 meters so the shape turns down towards there so 400 meters to 150 meters and the entire himalayas how are the himalayas formed we already discussed so now let us look into the details of how are the exactly the himalayas the himalaya consists of three major mountain ranges there are three parallel ranges of mountains together we call them as himalayan mountains these himalayan mountains are broadly categorized into three major categories as per their mountain parallel ranges present there so the first range is a very high range a continuous series of mountains are present here the average height here is 6000 meters while the world's topmost peaks in the world that is the mount everest with 8848 meters while the mount everest is present in nepal region so we cannot consider it as an indian mount name so we need to take the second mountain peak which is present in indian land that is the kanchenjunga or mountain k2 which is 8588 meters tall which is india's tallest mountain range and the world's second tallest mountain range and we also have here continuous series of mountains which are connected as a chain when we move on to the second mountain ranges which are present are known as himachal the himachal the average height of the mountain ranges which are present here are 3700 to 4500 meters and in this the special feature is in this region we have the pir panjal range which is a very large continuous chain of mountains here we don't find the continuous chain of mountains as we find in the himadri region and here we also find very beautiful valleys which attract millions of people towards kashmir we find here the different ranges of mountains also starting with the pir panjal range dauladar range and the mahabharat range are the famous ranges while the valleys are kashmir kangra and the kulu valleys are the most beautiful scenic beauties of this region and moving towards the width here we have have 50 kilometers of width in the himachal region and moving on towards the last but not the least mountain ranges that is the outer himalayas where their average is just 900 to 1100 meters and their width also varies from 10 kilometers to 50 kilometers where you find here different dunes the special attraction of our outer himalayas is they are uncontinuous mountain ranges they are very small the average height is very less when compared to himatri or himachal and here the most beautiful places are the dehradun the kotli dune and the patli dunes these dunes are another important attractions for the outer himalayas now 
in order to understand this much better the himalayas are also named according to the rivers which are presenting or passing through them we have many rivers passing from indus to brahmaputra let us see what are they called regionally or locally the region between indus and satluj is known as kashmir himalaya region the region between satluj and kali lake is known as kaumon himalaya region and the region between kali lake and tista lake this did not form under indian land so it is coming in the nepalayan himalayan region then from tista to dihang is known as assam region dihang is not an indian river that's what the doubt many of you get dihang is the other name for brahmaputra when it is in the tibetan region or in the china parts we call it as dihang so dihang is nothing but the other name for brahmaputra that's why we call it tista to dihang in the assam himalayan region and from brahmaputra the entire himalayas take a southward direction turn and enter into the indian land again from himalayas the nepal kingdom and the other regions so here we call it as purva chalor himalayas and in this purva chalor himalayas we have many hills known as patkai hills the naga hills the manipuri hills and the mijo hills these all together may also have different regional names for the himalayas so on a brief note the himalayas are stretched in the form of an arc it covers a distance of 2400 kilometers its width varies from the west to east is 400 to 150 meters respectively that is from kashmir to arunachal pradesh region it covers an entire area of india estimated as 5 lakh square kilometers it contains three major mountain ranges or parallel ranges which is divided basing on their ranges height so the first the highest region is the himadri region where the average height of the mountains is 6000 meters while the world's topmost peaks mount everest and kanchenjunga be a part of himadri and the second mountain ranges that is himachal ranges from 3700 to 4500 meters and it also consists of different ranges like peer panjal range dawladar range mahabharat range and it also has very beautiful valleys like kashmir valley kangra valley kulu valley and moving on to the third major division that is the outer himalayas its height is 900 to 1100 meters and its width varies from 10 to 50 meters here we have world famous dunes like dehradun kotli dune and the patli dune the himalayas are also known by the rivers which are flowing through them basing on the rivers covering the regions they are known locally with different names like the region between indus and satluj known as kashmir himalayan region the region between satluj and kali known as kaumon himalayan region kali and tista rivers region between these two rivers we call it as nepal because these two do not flow in india so tista to dihang dihang is the other name for brahmaputra as i mentioned earlier it is in the assam border so we call it as assam himalayan region and after brahmaputra enters into india that is dihang after entering into india the himalayas also take a southward direction turn and enter into the arunachal pradesh region so here we call them as purvachalar himalayan region or these are also comprising of the hills like patkoi hills naga hills manipuri hills and the mizoi hills this is a overall understanding of the himalayas if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus